Welcome to my video and this one I'm going to be talking about a preview between Ireland and Tonga in Pool B on Saturday and uh, this is going to be a fascinating game I think in this particular pool. It's Ireland's second game in the Rugby World Cup this year and it's Tonga's first encounter. G'day and welcome to Inside Rugby. My name is Mark. I'm a Kiwi rugby fan living here in beautiful Cancun in Mexico. And today happens to be Mexico's Independence Day. So happy Independence Day to all Mexicans, whether you're living here in Mexico or abroad somewhere. So this weekend, we've got another fascinating round of rugby in the Rugby World Cup. And one of the games this weekend is on Saturday between Tonga and Ireland. The number one ranked team in the world and the number 15 ranked team in the world so it's going to be a very fascinating encounter of course Ireland had that thrashing over Romania last week so they come into this game with some good combinations behind them after scoring 12 tries in that game against Romania on the other hand this is Tonga's first hit out at this year's Rugby World Cup so hopefully they're going to be coming in fresh with no injuries and looking forward to a very big game. So what's gonna happen in this game? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you my thoughts about it. My first thought about this game is that Ireland are coming in with a very strong team and they probably need to against Tonga. I don't think they're gonna see the same level of competition as they saw against Romania last weekend. I just think it's a really good strategy by Andy Farrell to play a really strong team and uh, to do that week in, week out. And if you look at this team, there's not too many missing from the Irish lineup that I think you would consider to be their top team. And uh, some of the other teams, and I'm talking particularly about France and the All Blacks, are playing around with their selection. And uh, I don't think that's a good way of keeping the momentum going in this Rugby World Cup. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's a case of Ireland need to put in a strong team to make sure they beat this Tongan team? Or do you think it's a case of keeping those top players in that top team selection ticking over every week and uh, going through these games, building momentum and uh, keeping the ball rolling? I think that's a really important aspect of this Rugby World Cup. Of course, there's the downside. There's a the possibility of players getting injured by playing more regularly. But I think once we get into that knockout stage, the coaches are going to want their teams really switched on from minute number one in those quarterfinals. Now Tonga's coming in not having played yet in this year's Rugby World Cup and that could be a, f uh, a good thing but it could also be a bad thing for them. Ireland have already got that run against Romania out of their system and a good thing that came out of that game is it gave Johnny Sexton some game time which was critically important with him coming back after such a long layoff but it also allowed Ireland to work a lot of their combinations and get a lot of confidence in their moves and their backline and Bundy Aki was a standout player of course in that game against Romania I thought uh, for the Irish backs. On the other hand Tonga are coming into this game without having a game yet in the Rugby World Cup so they're not battle hardened as far as the World Cup goes but maybe their players are a little bit fresher and not dealing with too many niggles or potential small injuries so there's a flip side to both of these but let's see what happens this weekend. Now let's have a look at the two teams and see who the coaches in respective sides are putting out onto the park this weekend for this Pool B clash. Let's start off with the Irish team and their front row, Porter, Callagher and Furlong. Very good front row. Callagher is back in now after of course having that injury problem at the beginning of the World Cup and uh, he's back in to shore up this Irish front row. So I think they're going to be very very strong. We've got Byrne and Ryan in the locks this weekend for Ireland so a good locking pair and expect them to be able to control a lot of line out ball in particular and also to threaten the Tongan line out and I think that's something this Irish team will be looking to do. And then in the back three we've got uh, Omani, Van der Fleer and Doris at number eight and uh, what a back three this is really really exciting to see these back three for Ireland. Uh, Van der Fleer coming back in and I think he's an exceptional player. But Omani's been playing very well 
love the way the guy shows no emotion at all and Kalen Doris can score tries and do everything for the Irish at the breakdown so a really really good Irish pack and uh, I expect them to do very very well up against an enormous tonging forward pack as well now the Irish forward substitutes we've got Herring, Kilcoyne and Bealham and we've also got uh, Henderson and Baird there so again a very good bench for Ireland expect those players to come on and make a difference when they do come on possibly in the second half so a very strong forward uh, unit there for Ireland both the starting eight and also the replacements so looking at the Irish backs now we've got Connor Murray coming in to take over from Gibson Park this weekend Johnny Sexton's getting another run and I think Andy Farrell wants to give him as much game time as possible, possibly see him to get 50 or 60 minutes in this game. And then the centre pairing of Bundy Aki and Gary Ringrose come back in for the Irish this weekend. And if Aki has another game like he did last weekend, then expect some more tries from the Irish in this game. And then on the wings, we've got Mac Hanson and James Lowe. And at fullback, we've got Hugo Keenan. So expect um, Johnny Sexton to manage this game from fly half. He's going to be using his strategic kicking to turn the Tongans back and get them back onto defence. I think Ireland are going to be looking for territory early on and then putting set piece defensive pressure on the Tongans and then use their outside backs to create points both on the wing and also getting Hugo Keenan to come into the back line. So I think this game is going to be all managed by Johnny Sexton at fly half expect him to be the master of the Irish team in this particular game then for the Irish reserve back reserves we've got Casey Byrne and Henshaw coming in off the bench so plenty of talent there also for the Irish and uh, Gibson Park getting a rest this weekend from the Irish team so plenty of firepower up front for the Irish plenty of speed pace and defensive qualities in that back line and uh, I'm expecting this team to go very well but before I give my overall summary of what I think is going to happen in this game let's have a look at the Tongan team a team that I haven't seen play too much rugby so having a look at the Tongan forwards and the Fafita boys stick out as the game changes here for me big powerful strong as the Tongans always are and watch out for Tali Tui as well in the flanker position in this game this guy can really get around the park and cause some damage at the breakdowns. So Tonga coming in with a massive pack and I think that's going to be something that probably is a negative for them as this game goes on because I think Ireland are going to use that to their advantage. Yeah for Tonga in the backs there's a few names that stick out. Pulu at halfback will be good. Havili at fly half is a guy that can really do some damage as far as getting his back line away. And of course we've got the ex All Black Fikitoa out there in the centres. Expect him to have a good game. And Piatau at fullback can be very decisive with his running. So the Tongans bring a lot of power, a lot of speed. They've got a number of ex All Blacks in this game as well as ex Wallaby. And uh, they could take it to Ireland in the first 20 minutes. But so how do I expect Ireland to win this game? Because I believe Ireland are going to win this game. Well, first of all, I think it's going to come in the first few minutes where Johnny Sexton is going to put the Tongans under a lot of pressure with some strategic kicking. That's going to set up some set piece play where the likes of Omani, Van der Fleer and Doris can do their thing at breakdown and then we're going to see the game played at pace from Ireland. And I think this is the key here. I think you can take run Tonga off their feet and uh, Tonga might be able to come out and put a good 20 minutes or 40 minutes together in this game but when it gets into the second half and time for some of those substitutions to be made I think Ireland's pace and speed of this game is the thing that can win it for them against Tonga so expect Ireland to go out fast and run Tonga rugged right from the very beginning while there's no doubt about it Tonga have got some very good players in this team it's going to be the class of Ireland their experience at this level of rugby and of course that number one world ranking that's going to help them get through this game in style and I expect to see a number of Ireland tries again I don't think we're going to see what we saw between France and Uruguay yesterday although I think Tonga are going to come and try and disrupt Ireland's patterns and therefore slow the game down a little bit but uh, that's not going to happen all the game and I think Ireland are going to be able to keep on top of it and keep the pace of this game 
very fast and that's what's going to take it away from Tonga. So let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen between Ireland and Tonga in this Pool B game. It's been set up as one of those really interesting games in the Rugby World Cup uh, for this year. And I don't think there's any reason not to believe that, but I just think Ireland are going to be too good on the day and expect Ireland to beat Tonga by at least 30 points. Yes, I'm saying it. 30 points, I think, is going to be the difference between these two teams at the final whistle. No doubt that Andy Farrell is going to want his team to be clicking into speed right from the first minute in this game. There's going to be a future eye on that Scotland game for Ireland, of course. And he's going to want these players to deliver once again, this time against a little bit more tougher competition than what they had against Romania. So that's going to be a really interesting way to see whether Ireland are building into this tournament for Andy Farrell and his coaching team. I think that's what they're going to be expecting from these players that are going out onto the pitch this Saturday. From Tonga's point of view, it's their first game in the Rugby World Cup. I'm sure there's going to be some nerves there to start off with as the game gets underway. It's going to be important to see how quickly they settle into the pace of this game. And if Ireland do decide to play this game at pace, are Tonga going to be able to keep up with it? So expect discipline to be a big issue from the Tongan side as well. I can see them getting caught in the breakdowns, being up offside as they try and stop that Irish backline from paying, playing at pace and making decisive breaks. Talking about discipline, it's another thing that Ireland have been doing very well so far in this Rugby World Cup. Expect them to continue that trend. And I think when Tonga impedes at the breakdown, they're going to be getting kicking opportunities for Sexton to put those three points over and he's going to gladly welcome them. So I think Ireland are going to be able to keep the scoreboard ticking over with penalties as Tonga infringe. And I also expect them to be able to score tries out wide and to get through this Tongan defensive line. So there you go, there's my preview for this weekend's game between Ireland and Tonga in Pool B. Let me know in the comments what you think of what I've said is going to happen, but also tell me what you think is going to happen. Who are some of the standout players that you're looking forward to watching in this game on Saturday? I will be back after the game to do a full review of the game and see whether any of the things that I've just predicted come to fruition, whether it be the score or the way that Ireland go about this game. Be interesting to see what happens. Now don't forget, I'm going to be here all the way through the Rugby World Cup. The way that you can help me out by supporting my channel is to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and uh, tell everybody about the Kiwi guy that's making videos about rugby in Mexico. I'll be back again really soon with another preview video for this weekend's game. Until then, stay safe, stay well everybody and keep enjoying the Rugby World Cup. Bye for now.